hello and welcome to uh, day six of this uh, indie run, and this is Umbrella Adventure, the Castle of the Cake. Uh, but surprise, we're not going to be playing this game, because despite the cool audio and premise and the squeaky duck toy that talks to you, it actually has really shitty gameplay. And really, I tried, but this is just no good. So we're going to play The Misadventures of PB Winterbottom. Here we go. Alright, and here we are in PB Winterbottom, or The Misadventures of said PB Winterbottom. Uh, it's about a fat man who loves pie and eventually steals them all even from himself, with the time-traveling bastard skill that he gains. I'm trying to get the audio to work here, um, for in-game. Ah, oh, look at you. You silly bastard. Catch those pies. Catch it with your hat. A oh, hungry, hungry hat. That reminds me of Hungry Hungry Hippos. Remember Hungry Hungry Hippos? That game was fun. And a button-mashing game if ever there was one. I mean, seriously, like, all it was is just you start the game, you're like, I win. It's like, but no, you didn't win. Uncle Jim won. Because Uncle Jim is an asshole who knows how to smack the board at the right time. <sighs> Fuck Uncle Jim. I might have bitter memories about that. <laughs> but you know what, I should probably be uh, talking about this, so. Um, I got some pie, and I got drug off by a claw for some reason or another. PB's luck seemed peculiar, but he barely took note. He thought only of pie sliding down his thick throat. Then he beat the crap out of this thing. And this part I find very unfair. One lamp? Really? And the whole town is on fire? Like, I know he's a pie thief, so he's not really morally justified. But, come on. Like, if I knock over a lamp in my neighborhood, I don't need to worry about the whole neighborhood going up in smoke. And if, if that did happen, like, that's not my fault. I'm, I'm going to feel justified blaming other people for that. It's like, who the hell designed a lamp that is surrounded by immense amounts of oil that light all my neighbor's places on fire? Ooh, entered slow-mo mode. Uh, this happens in fraps sometimes. Uh, just pretend we're playing the Matrix. Actually, I'm not even sure if you're going to catch it. Uh, hopefully this will speed up. Come on. There we go. And despite all he nabbed, he dreamed only of more. All those uneaten cobblers from mountain to shore. <laughs> and for all those missed pastries from the present to past, to slide into his belly and rest there at last. Perhaps the universe heard his foolish wish. Perhaps the universe answered. PB woke the next morning to a heavenly set. He did not know of the source nor the trouble it meant. Why am I in 3D? <laughs> Great blueberry tart. Delicious. You will eat this bastard at one point. At least I'm sure of it. <laughs> or at least I believe it in my mind. Though, you won't be doing it at this level, unfortunately. Got you. I've got you! No, I guess not. What is this strange place that I've ended up in? Ooh, I'm going to eat you with my hat. Oh no. No! And then he ends up sucked into the universe. Or that universe in particular. Don't know why. Uh, I guess it's just because he destroyed a clock. The bite, the pie flew, PB followed, and reaching once more, he plopped down in a spot that he knew from before. Shakes like that, I'm thinking that just laughing like Jabba the Hutt. Oh, that does that. That does that. Oh my god! I'm in the past. Oh god. I'll get that there soon. Wow. 
<laughs> I teleported. Didn't show us that before. Shouldn't that be putting out the fire in the town? Or maybe that's just making it so there's no water to put out the fire. Unfortunately. He had entered the pass, and this marvelous feat seemed an excellent chance to steal something sweet. By pursuing the pastry transformed on, transformed on dear bottom, he gained powers, though no one's quite sure, <laughs> though no one's quite sure how he got them. Oh, oh, okay, now I get it. Bottom, got him. Oh. Now I can duplicate myself. But no! The evil blueberry tart! He won't let me eat him. Together they traveled, himself and himself, to grab pie from each erstwhile unreachable shelf. Or erstwhile, whatever, however that's pronounced. Uh, I'm sure there's some sort of ironic conclusion to this whole game where it turns out he steals all the pies from himself so he's unable to eat any of them, or something along those lines, you know. Uh, I'm not sure if I already mentioned this, uh, but this is a 2K game, uh, which means it's not really an indie game. Uh, because it's produced by a legitimate, well-funded developer. But this legitimate, well-funded developer knew how to make a very good game that feels like an indie game. So, whatever. I'm going to roll with that. Plus, the other game I was going to show you kind of sucked balls. This is way better. Um, <laughs> and it doesn't have that AAA feel. Plus, it's a cheap game. It's only like 10 It might only be 5 bucks on Steam right now. Uh, don't take my word for that. It's 5 or 10 It's definitely not anything more. Uh, so it's still a very cheap game, and I'd say it's worth 10 but if you get it for 5 good for you. I think I bought it for like 2 bucks, because, you know, one of those many Steam sales. Yeah! <laughs> it appeared that strange taunt, the mysterious glitch, was drawn to disaster and PP had unleashed. Something like that. So bottom was sure, with his doubles and towel, he would catch your strange pie and consume it somehow. See, I always thought that's a toe, but I guess it's towel if it's supposed to rhyme. Master PB. Oh, whoopsie. Uh to record it. That's horse shit. Uh, come on. Come on, you stupid game. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It was not running this slow earlier. This video will be long enough now. God damn it. There we go. Oh, what the fuck was that? that was I'm all about, but. I don't think I have antivirus running or anything. I'm not even sure if you're gonna notice. I'm not sure exactly how Fraps records this stuff. So if you don't notice, it's gonna just seem like I was acting very weird there for a little bit. 
Oh, no, 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 that isn't what I want to do. <laughs> just, just stand there, and I'll smack you. through this. I think the audio is low enough that you can hear my voice now. If not, god damn it, we're still gonna go with this. Uh, so once more through the portal, that plump scoundrel ran, ending one misadventure as the next one began. Hence, the misadventures of PB Winterbottom. Aha! And that should be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we're gonna... To make up for the lack of indie today, we'll either do a double indie one day, or... Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll do a double indie one day if you're feeling that off about this. Um, but calling this 99 days of indie, one day of not indie, and another day of double indie, uh, it sounds a bit weird, so let's just still call it 100 days of indie. Because uh, I still think it relatively counts. Alright, uh, take it easy out there. Oh, uh, just a complete day six, indie 100 day marathon. Complete!